I think I gotta get rid of my computer. Too much information. Police hit a tidal wave of mental health calls. Chief. Won't be chief too long, so maybe she wants to come out as the uh, gonna be the sport person for the people with mental illness. Sorry, Leanne Fish is the wrong person to talk about mental issues. Remember when those uh, the cops there and Rob Castello, God bless his soul, uh, falsely accused me of exploiting children for sex. They ro they raided this place, and then they paid Bernard Richard forty thousand dollars, and they never talked to me. I said I don't know my charter of rights. You're gonna pay for my lawyer? Nope. Anyway, you know the story. Then she had a news conference. She said, well, we got to learn to deal with people that's emotionally disturbed. And this same woman, two years ago, sent two cops from Edmiston to possibly could have had me killed. Uh, just go to Google, uh, go to YouTube, write Edmiston Police and Charles LeBlanc, and you'll see, you'll see the uh, video. It's sad. Me, I have a hard time to look at it because I could have been... If I would have hit somebody across the head, they would have charged me with assault of a police officer, or they would have shot me like they did to Michel Viano. And that's what they do with people with mental illness. And this woman says, oh, we are tired of wave. I wonder what she said. I never read, read the thing. Let's see. This, this should be real good. This is like when I had Charles Murray, the albusman, in the corner, and we look at his uh, interviews. And then repause it and discuss it. Okay. Uh, Fredericton police officers dealt with more than three times as many mental health calls in 2017 than they did in 2009. Over oh, eight years. Of course, there's a name to it now. It's starting to cause major strain on resources. Oh, resources. Here we go again. But maybe if they weren't so busy in falsely accusing people to be pedophiles or be, have a group to go after certain people. You know, spend your money like, you know, uh, drug dealers or, uh, you know, the real uh, criminals. Don't talk to me about resources. Charlie, go have your coffee. What time is it? Nine o'clock. In 2009, the Fredericton police responded to 76 calls for mental health concern. By 2017, they were handling 268 cases. In court, according to data presented to city uh, first quarter, the mental health calls for service are a great concern to us. Charlie, shut up. Uh, Leanne Fish told counselor, this is a bit of a tidal wave of mental health issues. There's a name to it that are coming to the forefront. We are the first line of response in a lot of cases. Sure, you go after people with mental illness. What do you expect? You know, well, uh, oh, excuse me. What's your name? You're panhandling. Okay, uh, uh, here's a fine. Uh, excuse me, uh, let me check. Oh, you got an unpaid fine. Do you have 150 bucks on you? Mental issues. No? Oh, then they drive you to Miramichi or St. John, keep you there a couple Why hours, and force you to walk home. So that's, uh, don't you, they're really smart, you know. This is a bit of a title case. She said it in one case alone. Oh, maybe she mentioned my name. Individual X, who first came to the police attention as a child, see, 2019, as a child in 19, uh, too long, four minutes. In 1990, they must have been in school, and then they write it down in their computers, and then they go after them after. Boy, this is a long one. Who had repeated and increasingly contact with police up to 2016. Between June 5 and Feb September 8, 2017, Fitch told police spent 200 hours and about $10,000 dealing with just this one individual mental health call. Yeah, and how much you spent on me? <laughs> Half a million? Uh, and all the emotion, emotional stress. She said the force you at risk worker and mental health coordinator local crisis unit have helped ease some pressure on officers.
after a treatment plan is developed for was developed for individual X, for in instance, police calls from the, the person went down suspensionly. Can't say the word. The overall increase in costs associated with ballooning calls did not sit well with counselors. I wonder who's the idiot who said a longer term solution needs to be found. We need to get these people in supported housing, said counselor Eric Price, our pizza guy. Uh, housing is not, the, is not the issue. Other police force in the province said they are dealing with the same problem. Last summer, St. John reported a steady increase. Okay, so yes, there is a problem with mental issues. It's rising. There's a name to it. But See, this is what police does. They go after these people. Oh, they see them run a bicycle with no helmet. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Then they surround them, especially if it's a kid. And then they say to the kid, what the fuck are you doing? Ooh, uh, obstruction. And then they handcuff you. If you got a record, you're done. So the Fredrin police has a long way to go. When Leanne Fitz says we have to learn to deal with people that's emotionally disturbed, and then she sends two cops from Edmiston to have them harmed, Bullshit! 